How to handle collectibles part one hide the collectibles hi guys guys we've got an issue when we try to collide with purses let's see what's happened nothing happened when we touch the purses why because we didn't put inside a box collider so let's return to our game and let's choose the first purse and let's put inside a collide a box collider 2d so guys this time let's let's run the game and let's see what happen so when the player is in contact with the person now he's stuck so we can feel the box collider 2d guys now our goal is to make the purse disappear when the player enter in contact with it to do so, we have to handle the sprite renderer of this purse. You can see that if I disable the sprite renderer of the purse, it will disappear. Guys, let's create a script and attach it to the purse. To do so, go to add component button and select new script and then give a name to your script like money script. Then type create and add. Here is your money script. So take it and put it inside the script folder. So let's open it. Guys, here is the strategy to manage the appearance of the game object. First, we must create and assign a render type variable. Second, we must manipulate this variable inside the method to make the purse disappear when player collide with it. And third, we must call this method inside the relevant main method to create the relevant behavior. The relevant behavior is to uh, make the purse disappear when the player collide with it. So guys, in the variable zone, I have created a variable called rend of type renderer. It will help to manage the renderer of the game object purse. So second, I have to assign it on typing this line and as usual inside the start method. So what I ask to Visual Studio, I ask to fetch through the get component method the renderer of our game object. Then I have to manipulate this variable inside a method. So guys, here is the method that I have created. It is hide money method. So now as I have to make the person disappear, so I have to type this line inside the method. Here is the line. This line means that the renderer of my purse must not be enabled anymore. Guys, this time the relevant method is the on collision enter 2D method because we must call this method when the player collide with the purse. So let's erase the update method. We don't need it anymore. And let's replace it by the on collision enter 2D method. So I have to put two curly brackets like that. So this time let's call this method inside our main method semicolon at the end and let's define the condition so guys here is the goal if the player collides with the purse we must call the hide money method which is here to hide the purse so we have to type an if statement then to curly bracket here where I will 
call our method in money method guys we don't need this line anymore so now let's write the condition inside the if method so we will use you know the other variable i mean the other parameter to refer to the player guys to refer to the player we can even use the player tag which is player so so guys to refer to the player tag we have to write other that game object that tag is equal to the player we must hide the money guys let's save the the script Let's return to Unity and just be sure that the purse renderer has the checkbox checked here. Normally you must see the purse. So if I run the game and if the player collide with it, you can see that it has disappeared. The purse has disappeared, but we are stuck. We cannot uh, go through much more because even if we cannot see the purse it still exists you can see that inside the hierarchy window our first purse is still here so when we try to go through the box collider stuck us so we have to find out a solution to destroy this purse in the scene guys to hide the collectible you must first create and assign a variable of type renderer on typing those two lines. Second, manipulate this variable inside the method to hide the collectible. To do so, write or type rand.enabled, which must be equal to false to hide the collectible. Third, call this last method inside a predefined method like on collision enter to dish. The other refers to the tag of the game object, which collide with the purse. 